Nissan products in the past 20 years. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Can I ask you a question first? Well, that was supposed to be the end of that segment. <laughs> okay, why why did you just drive the knife into the end of that segment? I, hey, here's me okay, do you want to do signing that? off the segment. <laughs> do you want to do that hey, ending again? Hey, by the again? way, say one more thing. Do you want to do that ending again? Well, not anymore. What's okay. your question? Why, is me, why does Nissan segment. have an Ionic and the Aria? Okay, because why do you need two different electric vehicles? The Ionic vehicles? is a Hyundai, not a Nissan. <laughs> you literally just <laughs> murdered that segment. Are you serious? You just killed that segment. Yeah, that, that was a serious question. Wow. I didn't understand why Nissan needs wow. two vehicles that seem so what similar. Every subscriber now I understand. <laughs> unsubscribed. Okay, you don't understand. You make me drive a billion cars and sometimes they run together. A billion cars. You just joined the yes, channel like exactly, a month and ago. it's already been a billion cars and sometimes they it's run together. It's been like 10. Okay, well now I get it. So I answer, cars. thanks for the answer to the question. It makes okay. perfect sense. Well, there you go, audience. N they would not be needed in they the They would same. not be needed because the Aria <laughs> is a Nissan and the I got Ionic it. 5 is, is a, a Hyundai. Hyundai. Okay, you're right. You're right. I was just checking to make sure you remembered. <sighs>
The color, uh, navy blue, I, I don't like know. It. Throttle House knows all the colors. Hey James, tell us what color this is. This is navy blue. We're just gonna call this navy blue. That's probably not. All right, but it looks really good. The yeah. Aria is a very handsome vehicle. The light show it puts on, let's talk about that for just a second. Oh, on the inside? Yes, the lights on the inside and the outside because it has oh, the is... sill plates, it has the puddle lights, it has the oh, rear cargo. Oh, oh, when cargo, you open the door and it yeah, says Nissan the on the ground? Yeah, that's lights, really cool. And then it has the LED lights on the inside. So Nissan is really pushing like yes. the style aspect of this and car. And you didn't tell me it had lights on the inside and I drove it the other night and when I got in, it was all lit up. I'm like, whoa, it looks, yeah, and it has gonna, like the little design. It I'm gonna so try cool. to insert somewhere yeah, here so a cool. shot of the lights at night. I'll, I'll put a little bit in there because it's hard to film them because they're very kind of delicate and cool looking, but um, that definitely Nissan did a good job with the light yeah, show of the Aria. Now, from a practicality standpoint, let's talk about the inside of the Aria, but let's start with under the hood. Is there a secret compartment? Is there a secret compartment? Is there a frunk? Wait for a it. Frunk? We'll Is show you guys. I'll pop the hood. Oh, I did it. That and was survey easy. says no frunk. There's nothing. No frunk. But okay. that's good, the front now, is stupid. Now, this is a bit of a bummer because the whole point of having an EV is you kind of maximize that space. Now, I believe Nissan's excuse is that the by putting these components up here, they were able to, no, the frunk isn't stupid. Yes, Frunks are is. awesome. <laughs> the, the ones that fit Lightning like your mail? Has, oh, okay, okay. A mail slot frunk is stupid. <laughs> Frunks in yes, like yes. Teslas and F-150 Lightnings and Mach-E's are fantastic. Yes. Nissan's excuse, if I'm right about this, is that they put a lot of the components up here to maximize passenger space and cargo space. So let's see about that. Yeah, go ahead. It's electric. <laughs> boogie, boogie, boogie. Why did you just, just do came, that? What was... The electric slide. It's electric. Oh my God. Boogie, boogie. That didn't just come this to your head. This is why you come to this channel for high quality <laughs> reviews and electric slide. We just it got, just came to my head. We okay. just got copyright demonetized because she did the electric slide. No one even, I'm my singing kidding. is so That's bad they probably true. didn't even recognize it. Right, so 23 it. cubic feet of cargo space back here. The front wheel What's drive model, compartment? I believe, yes, does have some underfloor storage. I believe the front wheel drive model actually technically has more space back here because you get a little bit of this underfloor. It's not taken up with the other electric motor. So you get a little little bit more space in the front wheel drive model. I personally, if you live anywhere that's a temperate climate, I would make that sacrifice. We'll get to that in the summary, but I think that it's worth it. I don't think you get enough power and performance out of the four wheel drive model. If you don't need four wheel drive, skip it because the cargo space back here is pretty ample for a family of four, especially if this is not your your only car. If you've got a big old gross yeah. suburban yeah. to drive. Hey, there you go. it's not gross. But I took it grocery shopping yesterday spent a, a lot of money. You don't need to tell them how much, but. On a lot of snacks that the girls was, will decide they don't want anymore. It was full. It was full and I had plenty of space. Did you put anything in the secret compartment? No, but I did put things in the little side compartment. Oh yeah, they have little side yeah. compartments. I you put my eggs. You can fold down the uh, rear seats too and it's got, I think 57 cubic feet. I'll put it on screen if I'm wrong, but I think it's like 57 cubic feet, which is pretty good for a vehicle of this size. This is about the same size as a Nissan Rogue. And I could totally fit in there. Well, I mean, Easy. without the luggage cover, yeah. you know. No, Oh, even with the yeah. luggage cover, you yeah. want to get you want to yeah. get in the trunk. See? This is this is our thing: the quality reviews by putting your <laughs> wife in the trunk of a vehicle. Yeah. You're not even in the trunk. Well, I can get in the trunk. Are you going to get in the trunk See? here? <laughs> so See? I fit easily. If you guys yeah, are in a fight, no problem. Just you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think you just took that a step too far. Oh, okay. They're going to call. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was going to say defects, but it wouldn't be defects. No. It'd be like we facts. We facts. Wife, family, sir. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, no, that was department. I just did, that was just the wrong. Just ignore him. Yeah. Ignore That's him. going in the blooper. But yeah, lots of space back here. <laughs> it's kind of comfy, actually. I'm going to sit back here and tailgate or something. Oh, those are lights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Oh, oh. I like oh. to do it. But only when it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, God. <laughs> it drives very well. Do you agree? Yeah, it does drive pretty well. Yes, I think it drives very well. It doesn't have any of the weird regen stuff. Does this car not do that or does it just no, not? No, you can and I'll get to that when I'm driving. Okay, it. but we have it turned off or whatever now. So this is how I would drive it. Yes, I don't you like prefer that. it like I that. I do. So it drives very well. I I think, I mean, I just, I think it's a really good ride. I love the way the inside looks. Am I talking about that yet? No. No, so I'm just talking about how it drives. Yes. But see, I don't know much about, I just, I like it. I like how it drives. It's smooth drive. I like the gas and the brake. There's no jerking. I love the steering wheel. It's got a great steering wheel. You know what I really like? The heads up display. 
when I wear my polarized sunglasses, normally I can't see them, but I can see this one. Is it different? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if yeah, it's I like, just you noticed know, yesterday when I, I know I don't have them on now, but I have my sunglasses and I could see it. Yeah, it's pretty so bright. That's, that's a bonus. Yeah, I really like it. Driving wise, I give it like an eight out of ten. It's real smooth. I feel kind of sporty. Is it kind of sporty? Uh, no, not really. It's like a big. Your threshold like, for sportiness is very <laughs> low. A very like low. Like I love an SUV, so this threshold. feels pretty sporty to me. Does it get <laughs> Does good it, like, gas mileage? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Electric gas mileage. Electric, whatever you call it, is it good? Uh, yeah, no, the range. Range. Is that what you're Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no, the range is pretty good. It's 289 miles on this particular is that good compar model. Comparatively. Yeah, that's around like the Ionic Five, you know, which is one of your favorites. But didn't you say it doesn't charge very fast? No, I just charged uh, it up. And so elsewhere in the video, we'll get into that, which is okay. probably one of the biggest downsides. Why does it, why? Uh, the charger, it, all EVs have like an onboard charger and that depend, that determines how much they can accept, oh. like how fast they can oh. charge. And this one's is not very, this one's, so why this would, one's, this one's is not very. Why would Nissan do that? Uh, I don't know, uh, could be the, architecture of the electrical system. Some EVs are on an 800 volt architecture, which means they can recharge very fast. Okay. This one is obviously not. It hasn't affected us too much and the range is good. I mean, almost 300 miles is a good range. And if you charge it up every night, it wouldn't affect you. Oh, okay. Even on your home one or would you have to get one of the ones? No, you can get a 240 at home. Okay. But you would need to get do that. Not yeah, just for, like a regular... for an EV like this. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Do you want to get me one? No. I mean, you want an Ionic 5 more than this. I do. How do you know? You don't speak for me. Well, because you said that was the best car ever. Oh, it we was. just had it. But I, there are things I definitely like about this car, though. Um, more than the Ionic 5? No, but I really do like the way it looks. But it's kind of open. Didn't the, the Ionic 5 have the same, like, open kind of thing? Open floor plan? Open floor plan? Yes. Yeah, which I really like. You know what I like is this wood. How the buttons are like in the wood. You're talking about the interior again. I know, but it's so cute. I really like that. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Can I talk about the one thing I hate or not well, yet? What's the one thing you hate? The armrest. Well, in yes. The door. Talk about that. That is related to driving. Yes, because I am a huge, arm, like I want to be comfortable when I drive. I need an armrest. I went to go put my arm on the, it's like so low and like out here. Yeah. Like this is not comfortable. I would never use this armrest. It's like, it's unusable. It's kind of far away. Yes. And I've tried multiple times, just like out of habit to like put my elbow down and it's like, I have to just stop. I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot. Like, I literally do not think I would buy this just because of that armrest. Well, if something's far away from me, then it's probably too far yes, away. Yes. Like why did they do that? I do uh, not like it know. at all. You know, the Toyota Highlander actually has that problem too. Yeah. I need a, I need an armrest that, that I can actually use. What, was that the Ionic that had that big fat one? Yes. That I loved? Yes. yes. That was one you were obsessed yes, with. Yes. I was obsessed with that. And then, you know what else I don't like? The blinker. Oh, cause it, it's it a doesn't, it like doesn't click. Yes. Yeah, and position. I, I know that's not like a huge deal, but like, I really don't like it. So you run into one of the problems with the Nissan Aria right here, and that's just the charge speed. I'm plugged into an Electrify America fast charger, and I'm pulling about 80 kilowatts. Yeah, 80 kilowatts right now. So it's gonna take 30 minutes to get to 80%, which is notably slower than the competition. Also worth pointing out that as per usual, this Electrify America station has several chargers that are in reduced charging mode whatever that means. I love the interior. Like, not quite as much as the Ionic, but I really do like it. Yeah, the interior is yeah. pretty great. The steering wheel, it's... you know how I feel about a good steering wheel, is really great. I really love it. No thing down here, you know, like I like. Fits the Stanley. Yeah. I love this, what is this, like wood? Which is wood. surprising that it fits the Stanley, because I yeah, thought the cup holder was going to be kind of rinky-dink, but it's no, actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the center console moves. Yeah, yes, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that, which, which is, is kind of cool. Fun. And what is this, like fake wood? Yeah, it's like a but fake it, like, wood with so the cool. buttons recessed the buttons into it. In yeah, like, I'm gonna smooth, put some B-roll of that over this so they can watch. But you can touch the buttons. Yeah, like, in the wood. but they don't look like buttons. No. Yeah, that's really cool. It's a really um, nice design. Feature. And I love like there's like little rose gold touches everywhere, which yeah. I think is like a really nice touch. Um, and the seats. What what even is this? Is it leather? Is They're it cool. well? It's like suede? Is yeah, it? it's like a leather fake suede cloth thing. Yeah, it looks. They look very high end. They look very nice. They're super comfortable. And then this is the light stuff you were talking about before. Yeah, this and like I love how it's like a design. Here. So when yeah. it, that lights up, that lights up. That thing down there. Did you notice that lights yep, up? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like really it's just cool. really cool. Yeah, I, mean, I really they is, did a great job. 
Probably one job. of the best Nissan look, interiors I've ever seen. Look, the seen. designs are up here too. Yeah, it's even up yeah, there. Yeah, that's like, so cool. Yeah. yeah, no, I think the inside looks awesome. No, Nissan like, did a phenomenal. Overall, I love, like this car, I feel like looks wise is like the whole package because I love the outside, I love the inside. Yeah, I if love this it. car had the range and tech, not even oh. the tech, if it just had the range and the driving if of- it had, If it had the um, Ionix armrest, Oh, I so might okay. Like so this one if better. it had the Ionix armrest, that I would sell. I may like you. this one better. You would like this more than the Ionic Five if Maybe. the armrest because was Because I didn't better. like the way the Ionic looked on the outside. Right. I loved the inside, but I love this inside. I love the outside. The armrest is really valuable consumer information. Yeah, y'all need to go back to the drawing board on that one. Like, what engineers? Come on, raise it, bring it in. I need a nice. I will say that solid place. You agree? We yeah, it is a little bit far, and I am very tall, so that seems silly. Um, and I'm tall too, time, so if I can't reach it and you can't reach it, the time I spent in the seats, like I said, in the driving reach. portion, it, it, we spent so much time behind the wheel of this car, and I never got tired. The seats are phenomenal. Yeah, the seats are great. The They're seats are great. Excellent, yeah. and it has so much room. I can sit behind you right now, I'm which gonna, is behind myself. Imagine? Well, yes. Oh, I'm just gonna get out. Well, no, we'll oh. cut to it right now. Oh, you laughed and ruined it. Oh, sorry. The moment has passed. Okay. Where this is funny. where the seat would be for both of us because I'm tall and you like to drive with your legs like fully stretched out. Yes. So she has to have her legs like fully stretched out when okay, she drives. She just drives with her tippy toes. Oh, like, this. like just drives with her tippy toes. All right. And then I'm tall. So the seat is where both of us would have it. And weirdly tall. I can easily fit behind myself. And here's the thing, I've got enough headroom. A lot so of these cars with the sloping, yeah, if I was sitting here, my hair's touching it because it's a little bushy right now, but like <laughs> I can sit here. Oh, one thing I will point out, and this is a little bit of a negative. You've got heated seats back here. This is an Empower trim that costs, wait for it, $60,000. Whoa. Seriously? Yeah. So this thing costs $60,000. It has heated seats here. It has heated seats up here. It has a lot of amenities. You got the panel roof. You got all of the tech, everything that you'd want, but you don't have cooled seats. Ever? And anywhere? No, that's a big miss. Oh. That's a big miss in an EV because having the climate control coming through the seats helps you to not run the full climate control as much. So Nissan, from those of us that live down here in the south, especially in Hotlanta, it's called Hotlanta for a reason. It gets extremely hot. Having cooled seats would help me to, you know, prevent me from Did running Did you have to explain AC. why we call it Hotlanta? Maybe like not quite in so much yeah, detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe not like okay. that, but you get the point. It helps you to not run the full car's climate control because the seat is providing you the climate control. Okay, so from my perspective, everything that you said about the drive, I totally agree with. Um, it is a very smooth car to drive, and I drove it a lot because Hallie had a volleyball camp this past week and we were in the car for many hours a day so we spent a many, lot many of time hours. yes many 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 hours a day in the car driving back and forth it was about an hour and 15 one way so that's, okay they get it many hours okay, Move many on. hours yes, in the car made your point <laughs> yes so the car is very smooth to drive there are two areas that the aria sort of lags behind some of the competition one is in the region modes that Megan doesn't really like to use. I like a good one pedal EV where you can drive it I with don't. one I pedal. Hate it. You don't like it. The Aria doesn't have a full one pedal EV mode, good, and that's good. a bit of a downside. Well, <laughs> I disagree. It's not if you could turn it on and off. See, if you could turn it on, then I could have it on when I'm driving, and you could turn it off when you're driving. But the problem is it gets you almost all the way stopped and then you have to engage the brake, which wouldn't be a huge problem if the brake had a consistent feel and it doesn't. And so what happens is you run into the same problem that Megan complained about with the Kia Nero, and that's that it never stops smoothly. I got used to it over time. So I felt it like takes, I was gonna vomit every day. Yeah, it takes a very <laughs> kind of light touch to bring it to a stop smoothly, but it's not the most pleasant thing in the world. The second thing, which I would point out is actually a really good thing. This has Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist Level 2, and I actually got to use it on some of the interstates around Atlanta. Whoa. And are you okay there? Nope, just a hard time. Am I still in the frame? Centrifugal, it's it's centrifugal. so weird how I'm able to keep you, you in frame the whole time. I, you can't okay, you have bigger frame. arms than me. Oh, okay. You're stronger. <laughs> yeah. No, don't do that. I'm doing so, the best I can. Okay, you're doing the best you can, yes. which means I'm probably cut off like from here. No, no, up, no, you know? you're not. You're not. 
So the good thing about the Pro Pilot Assist version 2 is that it has some mapped out roadways, kind of like Ford's Blue Cruise. And that means that as I was driving down the major interstates in Atlanta, you can go totally hands-free and it works really well. You can see all of the cars on the uh, digital gauge cluster oh, and you cool. can even uh, signal the Aria to do a lane change and it will show you the cars that are coming up and tell you whether or not a lane change is available based on the cars that are around you very much like a Tesla. So that is a really cool feature and I feel like Nissan is but doing only a good on certain job. Roads? Yes, so you can do regular yeah. adaptive cruise control when you're driving on any road like you know highway. And then on roads that are mapped by GPS in Nissan system, you can do the full hands-free version. Oh, that's cool. And you know, if you live outside of the city like we do, you might drive on those roads from time to time and you can go into hands-free mode and it worked totally well. In fact, we uh, ran into some traffic and it brought us down to almost a complete stop, got us going again. It also did a great job staying centered in the lane. So I feel like as an EV, the Aria is pretty good, and we're gonna get more into that at the end. But it showcases some tech that Nissan not only badly needed, but is doing a really good job at implementing. And that's why I, this is one of the best Nissan products that I've experienced since I've done this channel. Definitely one of the best Nissan products in the past 20 years. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Megan moment. The, the Megan, Megan moment. Megan no, minute? it's not Megan a minute. Moment. Sometimes it's not a minute. Sometimes it's the Sometimes Megan it's millennium. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> all right, He's so not funny. The I Megan know, you all agree. moment. Thoughts on the Nissan Aria. Wrap Thoughts. it up. Wrap it up. Okay, I love it. Like, bottom line, I love it. I love the way the outside looks. I would give the outside probably a 10 out of 10. 9 oh, out of 10 -ish. whoa. We're a 9 to 10 because out of 10 I range here. really dislike when an EV feels like they need to go way too far to look like some cool electric vehicle. No, it doesn't look like a Flashback spaceship. Flashback to the Ionic review. Yeah. She gave that like a two out yes, of ten. Yes, because the outside tries to look like a spaceship or something. It, it okay. looks like a car, which I appreciate. I love the outside. The inside, I would give it a ten out of ten. Over the Ionic. I think you gave the Ionic like a thirty-seven. I think out of 10 I was going to say. I'm pretty I sure know. I went yeah, way yeah, above yeah. a ten. No, yeah. I would give it a ten out of ten. Except if the armrest. The armrest. I'm gonna have to like deduct at least three points. Okay. Okay. Seven so out of ten. Seven out of ten for the armrest. Seven now out I, of ten. I do think that the interior is extremely nice. One thing that I forgot to mention when we were talking about the interior is that Nissan's updated infotainment system is good, but it's not great, and it's still lagging behind. This is sort of the theme of our sort of summary here. It's still lagging behind what you're getting in something like the Ionic Five or the EV6, and. That's something that I wrote in my notes is that in a world that the Ionic 5 doesn't exist, this is one of, if not the best, daily driving everyday EVs. But Unfortunately, it does, it does exist. The Ionic 5 does exist. And it costs Unfortunately, less. Unfortunately, I love that car. Yeah, but it costs less fully loaded, and that's a big problem. Because the Ionic 5 that we had was fully loaded, yeah. had the big engine, four wheel yeah. drive, all big much? motor, electric motor, whatever the difference, you know. But it was 59. This is 59.5, and it's front wheel drive without the big motor. The outside looks way better though. Okay, so that is true. If, so you, if the exterior is something that's super important to you, there you go. Well, that is true from yeah. a style standpoint. Yeah. But which but one would you, you take? I would take the Ionic. Yeah, you would take the Ionic. See, literally, there's the, literally the, the one difference is that armrest. Yeah, that well, yeah. okay, okay. So, like, the no whole lie, difference. that's the only okay, reason from I would a practical, this car. normal human Seriously, being. Seriously, no, because when there is something that you use a lot when you drive, like I was driving multiple times, so my arm was like falling like this trying to find the armrest. Okay, but so I you buy it really like the interior I of the really, Ionic 5. I loved it. Loved you really it. like the interior of the Ionic 5. I think I do gave you it, like what, the interior, out of Yeah, something like that. But do you like the interior of this as much? Yes, minus the armrest. Okay, yes, so I, I really interior, do. I think it so looks really nice. Yeah. Good job, Nissan yeah. Aria, on the interior. Now, I would say, if you were looking for an EV, I found myself really, the Aria endeared itself to me because I spent so much time in it in the week we that we had it. hours and hours Yes, 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 we've been over it. But I spent <laughs> so much time in it that it, it kind of was endearing to me. I enjoyed the way it drives. I really like the style. I mean, it is a very, very stylish vehicle. Mm -hmm. And I do think that does make up for a lot. But for the same price, you're getting an Ionic 5 or an EV6 practically fully loaded. And this is not. You gotta get darn close to 65 grand to get the Aria fully loaded. And what holds it back for me, okay, armrest for you, what holds it back for me is the charge speed. 
Oh, this yeah. thing can't even get to 150 kilowatts. I charged it at the Electrify America charger and it topped out at 86. It was averaging about 80. That's not great. That took over 30 minutes from about 20% up to 80%. Whereas the Ionic did it in like 14 minutes, 15 minutes, something oh, like that. So it's a difference. huge difference. It's a massive yeah. difference, all right? So for me, the practical limitations of the Aria are its Achilles heel. That and the value proposition, it's okay? It's Achilles heel. All right, now, summing up, the Megan moment. Summing up. Summing up the grand finale. What's I our grand it. finale outro? I don't know. I like, love it. Like, subscribe, I watch. love it. No, no, no. Oh, we know oh, you oh. love it. We know I we love, know it. You okay. love it. I love it. I love it. Like, subscribe, that. ring the bell. If you want more of me giving him the sass that he so deserves. Well, and more of the, just inevitably yeah. what will end up in the bloopers. Cause you don't know yeah. if you've made it this far, you don't know you're about to see because I had to cut so much Are there out. good ones? I don't know. Are there good ones? I, I mean, mean, are I'm they always, ever that good? Yeah, when I started singing the electric slide. Well, see, now we're gonna have to put this in the bloopers because we're going off course. Anyway. Okay, okay. like, subscribe, ring the bell, yeah, go watch the do bloopers. Do all that and let us know in the comments what you think of the yeah. Nissan Aria. Would you consider it? I will say this, let's finish on this note because I want to finish on a positive for Nissan. This is one of the most ambitious, awesome, comprehensive Nissans of the past 20 years. It is a fantastic vehicle and it shows that Nissan is 100% on the right track. And whoever designed the outside, keep them, give them a race. Give them a race. Yes. All right, Megan says, yes. give, give them, them a race. Give them a race, Nissan. You, you came to the me. Jack's Automotive Channel mm -hmm. where Megan endorses whoever yeah. designed the outside yeah. and the inside, really. Minus Just the armrest. Whoever arm your armrest guy, guy yeah. was, fire that. Get guy. him out. Get okay. him out. Fire him. We wanted to end on a positive note. We ended on a <laughs> negative note. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm sure he's a great guy. <laughs>